All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you a daily horoscope for Tuesday, the 14th of July, 2020. We've got a beautiful, beautiful healing day going on today, okay? There's a lot that's going to be thrown up in the air, okay? Um, and it's going to, it's, it, this is like the, the papers are, it's like a cartoon, all right? Papers are getting thrown in the air and everything like falls perfectly in place. <laughs> okay, uh, everything's just going to magically work out exactly how it's intended to be. And we can look back, you know, and, and be like, wow, I'm really glad this went haywire in my life. I'm really glad that I was going in this direction and I hit a brick wall or, or this person walked away or this job fell through because it put me in this direction. Told the light, Carol Ann. You know, there's, there's, all right, let me just get into it. We've got uh, Chiron meeting up with Mars. Okay, it happens once every two years. Mars makes its way around. Okay, so that's going to happen around 5.30 in the morning, between 5 and 6. We're going to really, really feel it then for those early risers getting up and meditating or wherever you're at in the world. Um, you know, I've been talking about this since, what, last week? And I've been talking, I talked about this specifically in, in the monthlies, July monthly videos. This is, a, this is major, you know, uh, what's happening to Tuesday. Uh, and this connection continues through Wednesday. You know, this this is amazing. We're already feeling this here on Monday. I know you are, right? This is it's such a, a a release, a relief feeling, right? Mars action moving forward, putting one foot in front of the other. Chiron, the wounded healer, saying what? You know, I have to heal these. I have to heal these wounds, right? I have to clear this out, okay? And speaking of clearing, it's making a septile, right? To the south node, releasing information, releasing knowledge, releasing stuff that no longer serves us and our higher purpose of where we're going. The north node septile down to the sun at 22 degrees, the sun creating a septile over here to Chiron and Mars. Okay. So not only are we releasing, you know, what no longer serves us, because this is a mental game. This is an emotional and mental game, right? Because we got Mercury, down there in cancer we've got the sun in cancer so this is all about our emotions how do we feel right how do we want to express ourselves how do we want to communicate our feelings <laughs> okay well mars and chiron you know it's like sometimes we want to we're you know, doing this. like I, I just don't want to say something because it could disrupt or unsettle and it's just is like well, letting go of some of these thoughts that hold us back, right? And the Mercury retrograde definitely held us back a bit from communicating, from opening up the dialogue and expressing our heart's desires, okay? So this is exceptional, exceptional. And, and not only just for communication, but for our mental well-being, okay? So the sun down there in Cancer, right, shining its light on our mothering, nurturing aspects of ourselves, self-care, self-love, you know, um, and, and, and understanding when it's time to heal, you know, and, 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 and this, this connection as well, actively seeking healing, it also means we know when to rest, okay? That's the other aspects about things going hiding in cancer, is it knows when to just lay dormant, okay? It knows when to hide out and say, like, look, I, I would love to go play basketball, but I, my, you know, my knee is still recovering or something like that, you know? Um, and it's having the understanding uh, to know when to say and communicate those things, you know, and not to be worried about being judged. Oh, come on, walk it off. You know what I'm saying? So just this really cool. And again, those septiles is that fate and destined connection that's happening. It's the universe saying, this is my gift to you. This is, this is spirit coming in and aligning us up with our healing. Okay. Very, very beautiful healing going on today. So I'm very excited for all of us. Now, let's continue. There's more. <laughs> okay, so every rose has its thorn. And ours is at 10 a.m. <laughs> no, this is not a, it's not a thorn. But I mean, you know, again, I, I talk about this every month, right? When the moon meets up with Uranus and what everything Uranus touches, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the breakthrough. This is the release. Okay, so we have Mars actively seeking the healing, release of information, release of knowledge, that sun entering, you know, sun and cancer here, saying yes to heal these wounds, yes, releasing of knowledge. I have to go in this place of myself, of, of curing, of healing, uh, taking the time for myself to nurture my water, my needs, you know, my emotional needs. 
okay? Now, our moon represents, is the ruling planet of Cancer, okay? Where the sun is here in Leo and Mercury is here in Gemini and Virgo, okay? So our moon is our emotional needs, right? So emotionally, we're, we're really tied in with this breakthrough. We're really tied in with this release of information or release uh, self-worth, release of... Um, you know, this is huge here with this Chiron, a lot about self-worth. Or if I'm, you know, I, I want to get this job and, the, you know, I have to look a certain way. You know, this, um, this connection here will have a part in Saturn in Aquarius. With Saturn moving through Aquarius uh, come December and through the next two and a half years, there is a need to fit in and do whatever it takes uh, to fit into a social group. Okay, where this is saying your own individuality matters more than that of the group. Okay, uh, and we can do things like saying, you know, we have this this terrible uh, concept of what beauty looks like, you know, and we want to augment ourselves to seek what that beauty is. You know, it's like well, this is eye the beholder kind of thing. So this Chiron Mars connection coming down to connecting with the sun connecting with the south node so again it's saying like you're perfectly you have you ever seen an imperfect cloud never never you know you're perfectly you perfectly you and and mentally you know um so like what michael jackson had vitiligo i have vitiligo it's not on my face um but you know it's a um you know what vitiligo is anyway uh, there's a there's a model i forget her name and she's got it you know like really on her face okay and, and it's, it's such a perspective thing i don't want to tear too down in this but this is a perspective thing about self-worth you know and it's interesting how on one hand an individual can say i have this this thing i'm different looking you know and it's a weakness and on the other hand, we have somebody that says, I'm different looking, I have this thing. You know, or if you're from Detroit, uh, Lee, what, uh, the news anchor has vitiligo, right? I worked with him a few times, great guy. Uh, it's, either way, it's not about that, but it's about, it's like saying, hey, on one hand, I can, I can, I can feel disempowered. I can feel alone in my, in my own weirdness, in my own, you know, individuality, my own uniqueness. And I can feel not a part of a group, not a part of society, not a part of this clique because of my differences. Or we can take this and say, these differences are what make me unique and awesome. And I'm going to run with it. I'm going to run with my gifts. I'm going to run with my talent. I'm going to run with my own inner weird, you know, and express that. Okay. So now our emotional moon Meeting up with Uranus is saying, yes, let's crack this egg. You know, if we, if we want to make an omelet, you got to crack an egg. So it's like we have this great emotional release going on, this healing, this, this releasing of thoughts in our brain that says I have to be this way or look this certain way or, or change something about my physical appearance or about myself to be appreciated, to be loved, to be wanted. You know, it's, and, and remember when we had the, the North Node down in Cancer, it was, it was, you know, messages about authenticity. So now we have Mercury in the sun, our ego expression and our communication and thought process down there in Cancer, saying being authentic with ourselves, right? Being uh, authentic, impeccable with our words, you know? Um, so there's, there's this, this great... This is the egg cracking, okay? Now again, this happens every single month. However, it didn't have this connection last month. It won't have this connection next month. This is fate. This is destiny. Now we also have, look here, okay, it just keeps going. This is an amazing day. I'm getting goosebumps, all right? So this is our emotional release here as well, creating what? A septile up here to Saturn. Saturn creating the septile here to Neptune. Your wish is my command energy. Let's make things real. I'm home in my sign. I'm unfiltered by anything else. Let's make reality. Neptune says we are one, we are everything, we are, you know, this elusiveness, we have everything and anything that we want, right? Mentally, this is like, a, you know, philosophy, it's like when you, you know, this, this a point of awakening is everything that you want to be, everything who you want to become, everything you want to have, you already have and you already are, right? <laughs> and, and that's part of this release as well with the south node. So Saturn septile to Neptune, Neptune septile down here to the moon, emotional, and Uranus release, okay? That creating the connection to the south node, 
okay, as well as the moon Uranus creating the septile of Saturn. I, uh, and we still have the sun, Neptune, okay? This is just a recipe for awesome. This is a recipe for awesome. You know, your healing is done. <laughs> Whatever you're going for, you know, it's like, it, this is, this is it. This is it. We're, 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 get, we're there. You know, we've arrived at the station, okay? So it's a day to just say thank you. Thank you to the stars. Thank you to the universe. Thank you for, for closing doors. Thank you for putting me in this direction. Thank you for giving me myself. Thank you for this time to heal. Thank you for life. You know, it is truly, truly a magical, magical day. And what is going to come out of it? You know, drop me a line. Let me know how your day went. What, what emotional breakthroughs are happening to you? Is there a community, you know, Mercury's out of retrograde right now. So we're dealing with communication. Has there been emotional communication that's come up and, and, and just cracked an egg? And now it's just like, oh, there's no longer that, that hard shell between, you know, it's just what it is. I think the egg thing works. Either way, you get it. It's a beautiful, beautiful day as always. Thank the stars, right? <laughs> My friends, thank you as always. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and we'll see you tomorrow.